Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. And I'm so excited to show you a real application of the Dirichlet kernel for once. Oh, this is so cool. So like I said in my previous video on this limit right here, basically just a cosine, I was using the idea of using the geometric series to solve this thing right here. And what I basically did was use the strategy I was using on the Dirichlet kernel to derive from the definition of the Dirichlet kernel to this thing right here. Okay, this is what I originally used in my Dirichlet kernel video. But what I also did, I derived this identity right here, namely that this sine rational function right here, whatsoever, is equal to this thing right here. And we can make actual use of that because you see we have a sum running from k equals to 1 to n of cosine of k times tau in some way. So index times some variable pi over 2 times n. This is really fucking good. So let us focus on this part right here, right now. So what we can do, we can just cancel out the pi over 2 on both sides to get those two being equal, okay? This is just um, 2 over pi times the Dirichlet kernel in this case. So that's equivalent to saying that we have the sine of n plus 1 half times tau over the sine of tau over 2 being equal to, well, 1 plus 2 times the sum running from 1 to n of cosine of k times tau. And what we can now do, okay, you see, this really doesn't have a 2 in front of it, so we want to get rid of the 2 right here and also of this plus 1 because that's just annoying at the moment. We don't need this. So we want to get to this thing right here by, well, subtracting 1 on both sides to get rid of this thing right here and then divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 right here. Okay? So we have sine over 2 times another sine minus 1 half being equal to exactly this thing where our tau is now going to be equal to pi over 2 times n. And this is absolutely brilliant because this just works like an absolute charm. So let's go ahead and get started. What we are going to get up here, and I'm going to refer to this limit once again as capital L. It's nothing but, okay, pi over 2 times n times this chunk right here, okay? So we have the sine of n plus 1 half times, okay, our tau is now pi over 2 times n over 2 times the sine of, okay, tau over 2 is going to give us pi over 4 times n and then negative 1 half. Okay, this is a lot of stuff to write. I want you guys to notice we can use the limit rules to break this up into two limits. One being this chunk right here and one being the limit as n approaches infinity of pi over 2 times n times minus 1 half. But if we take this exact limit, this is just going to be some constant times the, lim the limit of 1 over n when n approaches infinity. So in the limit, this is going to go to 0. So this part really doesn't matter. It doesn't affect us. It goes to 0 effectively. So all that's really left is to evaluate this part right here. We can bring the 2 to the outside to get pi over 4. And let's bring the pi over 4 in front of the limit. Okay, this is just confusing. We don't need it at the moment. So we are going to get pi over 4 times the limit as n approaches infinity of, okay, now we have 1 over n, and then we have this sign right here. Let's, let's just write everything out in here. Let's, let's just distribute everything into everything. So get pi over 2 times n times n, so this is just pi over 2, <laughs> and mm, you can see my absolute smug face. This is already so good. Okay, and then we get plus pi over 4 times n. over and now we have sine of pi over 4 times n. <laughs> and well, you can interpret this sine right here as just a shifted sine wave basically. A shifted sine wave by pi over 2 is nothing but the cosine of this argument right here. So this is just going to give us pi over 4 times the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n and then we get the cosine of pi over 4 times n over the sine of pi 
over 4 times n. And as always, I'm going to do something really forbidden amongst mathematicians. I'm going to use small angle approximations because I don't want to track this out forever. You see, when n approaches infinity, this is going to be 1 over infinity, this is 0. So this is a really small angle of cosine in the limit. Same spiel here, really small angle of sine in the limit. So small angle approximation of cosine gives us approximately 1. It does work out, it does work wonders actually. And sine of a small angle is just the angle itself. So we are going to get pi over 4 times the limit as n approaches infinity of well 1 over n still and then we have 1 over the argument of the sine which is nothing but pi over 4 times n. <laughs> you see 1 over n and 1 over n is going to cancel out so we are going to take the limit of a constant. Ooh, that's really scary. You can also resolve this by using L'Hopital's rule, I guess. It should work out. It definitely does work out in any case. And then we have, well, 1 over pi over 4 times pi over 4 is going to give us 1. And then we're done. So this is absolutely amazing. This is such a cool way to use the Dirichlet kernel. It's so amazing. I actually asked this question on MathStack Exchange because um, I came up with the way I presented to you guys before. Um, maybe I'm going to put this in the description. But then someone came up with um, using this identity right here and it immediately, immediately came to my mind that this is nothing but the Dirichlet kernel and I just started um, yeah, recreating his train of thought. And yeah, it's just turns out really good. So thanks to the guy on MathStack Exchange for helping me out like this, for simplifying this uh, weird two times L'Hopital's rule geometric series approach to this short thing right here. And well, I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, you know how you can do this. Check out my website, check out Twitter, check out my subreddit, links to all the stuff in the description. And up until the next video, have a... Mm, we already had a kernel day. Have a Dirichlet day. Yeah, have a Dirichlet day. See ya. This building right there had cost 90 million dollars or so the city guide said. And this guy is taking photos with his tablet. That's quite weird actually. And yeah, it has nearly no right angles, this building. So that's quite unusual. It looks pretty good.